Hey, welcome back to Robinson Foundry. I recently made this awesome five pound solid copper sledgehammer. And as cool as it is, I wanted to make a hammer that would be a lot more practical for everyday use in my shop. My goal was to design something really unique looking, so I made the hammer with this cool skeletonized look. This hammer is gonna have soft faces, which will be non-marring, and they'll also be replaceable, which means they can be made out of all sorts of materials. But for this project, I'll be making them out of copper and brass. I designed this hammer to be suitable for sand casting, and in order to cast it, first I had to make a pattern, and for that, I used a resin 3D printer. Once it was done printing, I spent a few hours gluing it together and cleaning it up to get it ready to be used as a pattern. I also attach these little cones as a last minute alteration to the pattern. They'll help the mold making process go a little easier. With the pattern complete, it was time to ram up a sand mold. Along with the resin pattern, I also printed this half pattern with an FDM printer. I use this half pattern as a trick to help me find the exact parting line on my solid pattern. To cast the hammer handle, I used some aluminum from an old car wheel. I like to refer to this metal as wheelium. The hammer's brass and copper faces will be machined on a lathe, but I needed some large bar stock to start with, so I just cast some in various molds.
These castings really looked terrible, but fortunately that was only skin deep. Once I cut them into manageable sizes, I could see that the metal was very solid. Turning these large pieces of brass and copper on my tiny lathe was really pushing it, but I was able to make it work by taking very light cuts. I recently created a Patreon account, so if you'd like to help me continue to make videos, then Patreon is a great way to do that. In addition to helping out the channel, you'll gain access to 3D printing files like this one and Patreon-only content. And if you've already signed up, then I just want to say thank you, it really is a big help. When I designed this hammer, I made sure to leave two parallel sides to make it a lot easier to clamp in the vise on my milling machine. Machining this hammer was very easy. I simply used a 2 inch face mill to flatten both faces and then I drilled and tapped a hole on each side. With the machining complete, all that was left was some cleanup work on the handle. For that, I used some hand files, sandpaper, and a little scotch bright. Okay, let's put this thing together. Well I think this hammer turned out extremely nice looking and I'm looking forward to using it in my shop for years to come. I'd say this was probably one of my most satisfying projects yet. It took me out of my comfort zone a bit because I'm very new to machining like this, but of course that's how you learn how to do things. Well I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this, and if you did, please let me know what you think in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe for future videos. Well thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.